Hey everybody, let's say you use your computer to record TV shows and you have a cable card tuner card such as a Satan Infinity TV 4 and you are actually um, getting service from Time Warner Cable or, or another cable company that likes to apply copy once flags on almost every channel. So basically many of your recorded TV shows are copy protected. Now usually when you change hardware if you reinstall Windows or whatnot, you'll lose access to those recordings despite the fact your computer's the same. Now let's say you have to reinstall Windows for some you know reason. Like let's say something's not performing right, your hard drive fails or, or whatever. Um, you know, any reason you have to reinstall Windows, normally you're thinking, oh you're gonna lose access to those recorded TV shows. Now this applies to Windows 7 and you know this the play ready setup that administers you know all the copy protections and DRM crap all that stuff that's in Windows Media Center and Windows 7 basically I'm going to show you how you can preserve access to those recorded TV shows should you have to reinstall Windows now this has to do with reinstalling Windows on the same computer this doesn't have to do with transferring your files to another computer or, or swapping out pieces of hardware now you know there's a very slim chance this might work but I have my doubts on that so I'm going to call this a video on how to preserve your recordings after reinstalling Windows on a system that has not had, it, had its hardware changed so basically it's, it's pretty simple um, prior to reinstalling Windows what you will need to do is you will need to go to your C drive your main hard drive and what you have to do is enable access to hidden files and folders so basically you click organize and then you'll choose folder and search options click on the view tab and show hidden files folders and drives and click OK now of course I've already got that enabled so now you get this hidden folder called program data double click that go to Microsoft scroll down to play ready and you're going to need to back up this file basically you'll right click and say copy and then you'll paste it to a backup somewhere for example like I did I had it backed up in this folder I actually copied the play ready folder and I also exported the key but I don't really believe you have to do this I want to actually click edit so you can see what it shows. I really don't think you have to back this up because when you reinstall PlayReady, th this key gets created anyway. Now, it might be a good idea because, I mean, I haven't tried it without this key. So, basically, um, what I would do, actually, no, I can't, I can't post it into the video. So, let me go and show you how to do the registry editor. You know, use, use registry editor to back up the key. But first, as I mentioned, you need to paste the Play Ready folder to somewhere else and save that for you, um, after your reinstall. Then you'll click on Start. Type in RegEdit. And let me see where I found this um, key at. I need to edit. Let's see. It's an H key local machine in software, Microsoft, and Play Ready. So, H key local machine, software, Microsoft, and Play Ready. What you do is you right click on the Play Ready folder in the registry editor and you will click export, save this file to where your Play Ready folder is at you know the device such as maybe an SD card or maybe a different hard drive with your other files save it there so you can preserve that stuff so anyway I'm not going to click save because I'm, I've already done this and I'm going to close this out so now let's say you have done your Windows reinstall you have a fresh install of Windows 7 you've installed your tuner in this case the Seton Infinity 4 what you want to do is before 
you run TV setup. In other words, before you install PlayReady on the fresh install, you will want to go ahead and double click this, click on yes, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to click on no. But you'll click on yes to actually import that key to your new registry. And then it'll say it's been successfully added to the registry and you click OK or close or whatever. And then you will select this play ready folder out of your backup area. You'll say copy. Then you'll click on start, go to computer, C, and of course um, you will follow the directions again to enable um, hidden files and folders for viewing. You go to program data, Microsoft. Now in this case, play ready won't be there, so you would just right click and say paste and paste in the play ready folder. But I'm not going to do that here because it's already done. And then, seeing that you have imported the registry key and the play ready folder to the program data, you know, the Microsoft folder here, you will go ahead and run TV setup, let play ready install and do its thing. Hopefully it doesn't fail like it does sometimes. Now I'll get to that here in just a minute. Um, run through TV setup. And then you should have access to your recorded TV shows. For example, let me go ahead and show you, just for an example here. Now I noticed right away that Windows Media Center is showing the thumbnail, thumbnails for the um, recorded TV shows. Now let's see um, Storm Stories. And you know what's funny? <laughs> Under Time Warner Cable, the Weather Channel is a copy protected channel. Yeah, <laughs> let's just go ahead and have my local forecast copy protected. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. Anyways, um, let's just show you. It says copy protected. I recorded this on April 5th. Well, that's the, that's the original air date. Um, I recorded it on Saturday, April 19th. Today is June 13th. I just installed Windows on the system. And I'll say play. Now watch, it's going to play. See, it plays. No copy and prohibited error. It plays just fine. Now, of course, I close that out pretty quick, not to hide something from you guys. Not, not. I'm not trying to make some make up something here. Um, it does work. I've went to multiple recorded TV shows, and it and they play just fine. So, now basically, let me go ahead and cover one more thing. Sometimes you may get an error saying Play Ready did not um, update successfully, you'll not be able to watch record TV shows, and all that, you know, all that crap. Now, hopefully you shouldn't get that on a clean install. I have before. Now, basically, in this case, you'd have to look up some stuff online. I hope, I'm thinking one of these days, when I get the error messages on a system I install, you know, Media Center 2, I will do a run-through of how to clear that out, but usually the unfortunate thing here is when... Play Ready fails to update, it typically requires resetting your DRM, but then again, you have that backed up um, MSPR.HDS file that you can stick back into the folder. And usually, I believe, from what I've read, it's the MSPR.HDS file that, in, that contains the encryption information. And to conclude this video, basically, what that file does is see. It works similar to Windows activation. When you activate your copy of Windows or Microsoft Office, it looks at your hardware to get some sort of a fingerprint. And it saves that data. And in the case of Windows activation, it sends it to Microsoft, but in this case with PlayReady, it just saves the information in, I believe, the MSPR.HDS file. And it saves some other information, you know. It's a key that pretty much you know, it's it's like half of a key that goes with each .wtv file that Media Center records to. That's why in some cases certain files may not work if they were not recorded at the time that certain key was used. And that also can explain why you can't watch record TV shows on another computer in the house. So anyways, um, hopefully this information will be very helpful for you guys. I mean, I found this is kind of as a beta test of my own. I was, I didn't have a whole lot of faith that this was going to work. I was really worried that I was not going to be able to see my record TV shows anymore.
because I have a lot of recorded TV shows. They are stored on a separate hard disk drive. So one terabyte drive and it's like 60% full. I mean, clicked on the wrong one. It's this one here. Look at all these shows. I mean, there's a pretty good bit there. <laughs> See, Duck Dynasty, Lizard Lick Towing, Beyond Scare Straight, and Storm Stories, and a few others. So anyway, it's going to close this out. Hopefully this information was very helpful for you. So anyways, I had any questions or comments. Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.